Do you have low water pressure in your bathroom or kitchen sink? Or you might have no water coming out of the faucet at all. Today I will show you how to fix it. If you follow my steps, I will guarantee that your problem is going to be resolved in a matter of no time. The steps to resolve the issue are simple, but you need to follow my steps and please don't skip any. I have had low water pressure issue with my kitchen tap for the past couple of days and it created me the opportunity to film it while fixing it. Remember that the process is all the same for different types of both kitchen and bathroom faucets. And please don't forget to support my channel by pressing the like and subscribe button. This is the kitchen tap that we are dealing with. And as you can see, there is no water or no pressure in this faucet. And the pressure is very low. In your case, there might be no water coming out at all or you might have problem only with cold or hot water. But remember that the process of troubleshooting and fixing is all the same and all you need to do is follow my steps. First thing you need to do is to check other tabs and make sure that the problem is not for the entire house. Let's check one of the faucets in the bathroom to make sure. Here I'm in the bathroom. I'm turning the tap on and as you can see the water pressure is just fine and now I'm 100% sure that there is something wrong with the kitchen faucet. Let's go back to the kitchen. Here in the kitchen we need to troubleshoot and find the source of the problem and to do so we need to start at the lowest point and check everything one by one. This is called a shutoff valve and this is the hot supply. The hot is always on the left and the cold is always on the right. You need to turn the valves off. I turn the hot off and then I turn the cold off. Disconnect the braided hoses. And you need to open the valves slightly and see if you are getting enough pressure down here. Here I have enough pressure for hot water and then I'm going to test the cold line. As you can see I have enough pressure in both hot and cold line which means that the valves are just fine. I connect both braided hoses back to proceed to next step. Now the next step for me is to check the faucet aerator and see if there is any blockage. Let me open the aerator. There we go, I see some materials are blocking the aerator of the tap. I have removed all the material belt ups and connected the aerator back. Now let's test the flow. As you can see, my problem is resolved and I can stop right here. But let me show you where else the problem could be. 
Down here we have the shut of valves and the problem could be here. After the valves we have the supply hoses which could cause the problem. And then after the braided hoses we have the cartridge inside the faucet which had the potential to be problematic. So you need to test each of these mentioned parts one by one until you find where the problem is. I hope this video has been useful and if so, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos.